Hello, besties. So, Crew and I are here. Do you hear him breathing? Literally me after walking up the stairs. I feel like instead of calling you guys besties, you guys are his aunties and uncles. Right, Crew? He's like, yes. I put him in the cutest outfit ever. It's like this little bear outfit. He's terrifying, I know. You're such a scary little bear. <laughs> I'm trying to take some pictures of him in it, which it is so hard to take pictures. If you have a baby, you know, like it's hard. <laughs> but I put this blanket down and then I'm gonna put him on top of it because I want to get updated pictures of him because he is officially out of preemie clothes and he's into newborn clothes, which is so, oh my gosh. It's like bittersweet. Also, he let me get fully ready today and I had extra time to do my hair and I put it in these like cute little bows. What do we think? What do you think? Got it. <laughs> See, he is a wiggly little worm. Oh, guys, like, are you kidding? You're kidding. Also, we've tried out so many binkies and the only ones that he likes are these ugly ones. Like, we bought him so many cute binkies, but these ones from the hospital, he's like obsessed with. So that's tragic, but. Oh, well, you are so handsome. I cannot deal. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I want like 50 of you. I just got him to sleep and look at his hand. Oh, shit. I got some cute pictures of him and then I put him to sleep. He's downstairs right now with Jalen. Jalen's working from home today, which is amazing. So I can get some stuff done. It is so hard now that he's back at work. I am super tired, but I just keep reminding myself that this is just a season. Jalen's only back at work for a month and then he um, comes back home and then he has another month of maternity leave and then he goes back to work and then he has a month of maternity leave. So pretty much he's doing like every other month he's staying home for um, maternity leave, which is really nice. Since he's been back at work, he needs like a good night's sleep and like consistent sleep. So he's actually been sleeping downstairs in the guest room, which has been really depressing and sad. And then crew and I are in here <laughs> and I've been getting up with him. And later in the vlog, I'll show you guys like us throughout the night and like the schedule and stuff. I feel like right now I'm in survival mode. I don't even have time to think about how tired I am. I just, you just do. So yeah, crew just sleeps in here and um, I put the refrigerator in the bottle warmer right there, which has been super nice. So I don't have to go all the way downstairs because that would be, crew would not have it. Like he, when he's hungry, he is hungry. So it's nice to have everything right here. Later in this vlog, I'll show you guys crew and I up at like 2 a.m., 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 11 p.m. Like we up at all hours. He pretty much wakes up three times, um, like every two and a half, two, three hours. It depends. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. And I'm tired. And whenever I hear someone say I'm tired, I literally just side eye them. I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, even though it sucks waking up like every two hours, it's so worth it. Like I love being a mom and it's just like a season, like he's a newborn. So obviously he's gonna wake up a bunch. Um, there are some newborns that like sleep through the night, which you're lucky, but crew is like, I'm up. I've been really loving this hatch sleep. It's amazing. And then under here, I just keep all of the things that we're gonna need throughout the night. I feel like I have a pretty good system in place. Cannot wait until Jalen is back at home. I miss being able to like sleep all together. Like, <laughs> I'm really digging these bows. If you're wondering, I literally just went to the craft store and got a whole bunch of ribbon and I have these pink and blue ones and I have these white ones. Highly recommend. We need to sit down for this one because I just got two hospital bills. Let's see how much it is to have a baby. Even though I pushed them out, they still charge for that, which is tragic. <laughs> I'm scared, but thank goodness for insurance. Shout out to my dad, he's my insurance agent. <laughs> okay, so, ooh, I'm gonna have a panic attack. It is getting hot in here. Everyone take a deep breath. So I just got two bills. I still have like a whole bunch of other bills that I'm getting, so like, we'll revisit this, but okay, I'm looking at the invoice and it says total OB vaginal delivery slash PP care. PP care, like PP, <laughs> I don't know. That was $6,793 for me to vaginally deliver him. And another thing that I got charged for is the insertion cervical dilator separate procedure, which is the balloon that they put up there to get my cervix going in the very beginning. It's like a balloon that they put up there. And that was $385. So in total, that was $7,178. Okay, so it says insurance adjusted $666. And then my insurance paid $5,860.49. So I only have to pay $651.16. Whew! 
thank you. <laughs> so instead of paying $7,000, I'm paying $600, which thank goodness, um, that is crazy. And then the last bill that I got was anesthesia. I'm pretty sure this is for my epidural. So it costs $1,356.68 which I would definitely pay that like in full. The epidural was phenomenal to say the least. Um, so my insurance covered $1,221.01. So that means I pay $135.67. Woo! We love that. We love that. Bless. But damn, it is so expensive to have a baby. Like, oh, man. Canada, you are so lucky for free healthcare. Like the US said no, absolutely not. As I get bills, let me know if you guys are curious of how much it costs because it's insane and I find it so interesting. Not too bad after my insurance. Guys, I am not okay right now. I just went through all of his clothes and I took out all of his preemie stuff. These are all of his preemie clothes that he can't wear anymore. And then I filled this up with newborn clothes. We still have to clean all of this stuff in here because that's newborn clothes. My preemie baby is getting so big. Guys, drum roll, he's eight pounds now. It's just so crazy, like he's six weeks and he's like the size of an average newborn now. My small, petite, delicate boy. <laughs> this glider is amazing. A lot of people ask me where I got the dresser and the glider. They're both from Baby Leto. And this one is so amazing. It's called the CG one and it's actually an electronic recliner and a glider at the same time. And the thing that's awesome about this is you can plug in your phone. It has USB and then you press this button and the seat goes up. It's so good. And it's so freaking comfy. This is the cream color. They have other colors as well, but this one matched his room. And then we got this from Baby Leto as well. And this is called the Anoki Storage Ottoman in ivory and it's like a bouncel. Is that how you say it? We just keep some of his toys in there. We're just keeping them in there until he's like older, but love this setup. And then when I posted this dresser on my TikTok and Instagram, so many people are wondering where I got it from. It's called the Palma Seven Drawer Dresser and it's in warm white. Love this thing so much. And if you're wondering, yes, it is still all organized. Oh, you didn't see that? <laughs> Yes, still looks good. Yeah, I will link all of it down below because I know in my past videos of us doing the nursery, I don't think I linked it, so I'll have it down below. It's just such good quality and we'll definitely use a lot of the stuff for future babies, especially the glider, amazing. Finished my coffee, I really want another one, but I can't because I'm pumping. Tragic. Jalen is currently feeding crew. I have this huge ass package that I want to open. Like, what is this? It is huge. It says it's from CeraVe and it says CeraVe baby on it. So I'm excited to see. I didn't even know they had baby stuff. That is huge. What is this? Oh my gosh. That is so sweet. I'm breaking a sweat right now. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, this is literally so cute. So they sent this huge basket, which is gonna be amazing for like toys and stuff. I didn't even know they had baby stuff. So there's wash and shampoo, cream, lotion, and then they sent me some stuff and these little toys. These are gonna be perfect for like bath time and stuff. Look at that, adorable. And then I'm pretty sure this is a robe. Oh, don't look at my feet. <laughs> me trying to hide them. I put the front pieces back because those were driving me nuts. I got a headband, super cute. Oh, there's another toy in here. Oh, oh you're kidding. <laughs> oh, a beanie. Oh, this is cozy. A little baby blanket and it says Sarah V. <laughs> oh my God, there's so much stuff, wow. They really popped off. <gasps> oh, okay, before I show you that, because that is so pretty. This is a robe, and then I didn't even know this was in here. They sent this bag, and this color is so pretty, and with the gold, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, pause the show. When have I ever said that? Look at this. Oh, <laughs> not the shape. Oh my God, look at it. Here's my diaper bag. Let me loosen it up a little bit. Okay, this is everything. That is so sweet of them. Thank you, Sarah B. Oh my gosh. Well, I made a mess, so I'm gonna clean this up. <laughs> He's sleeping. Look at how cute. <laughs> Same. Are you getting a nice little suntan? <laughs> so this is T. Crew and I were having a little combo the other day, and he told me that he does not want to be a sad beige baby. So I was like, okay. We looked on Amazon, and he picked this out. Look at this. So here we are. Where's the purple monkey song? Oh. Hands up if you love your mommy. 
<laughs> I've been seeing this Fisher Price one on TikTok and it seems like all the babies love it and he is obsessed. He's frozen right now. Knees <laughs> and toes. So yeah, he has been loving this. We are not a sad beige baby and I'm not a sad beige mom. I mean, the house on the other hand is very white, beige, and black, but I'll make up for it for all the colorful toys because I ordered a whole bunch on Amazon, so. What do you think? Whoa! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he can only see black and white right now. Um, I think when he hits two or three months, he can start to see color. I'm not totally sure, but yeah, this is probably still black and white for him, but <laughs> it's okay. I cannot. He is living his best life. <laughs> I was in the middle of taking this out and then I was like, wait, I need to vlog this because we're getting the night started. It's currently 6.43. PM right now, I know. It's so early, but you'll see why. Benji! Oh, never mind, I thought he was with me. I'm scared to snip that, should I? Yes, okay. So since Jalen's back at work and I guess I'm considered like a stay at home working mom, S-A-H-W-M, but Jalen needs like consistent sleep. Jalen works for the congressman, so he needs his sleep. So I usually get like a jump start and I head to bed at 8 p.m. And then Jalen will feed him at like 10 and put him in the bassinet. And then usually crew doesn't wake up until like 12 or one. So it gives me a good chunk of hours to sleep. So we've been doing that which has helped a lot because we weren't doing that for the first like couple days and I was beat. I was so tired. So we started doing that. Hold on, I have to make sure I'm not cutting my hair. Should I do it? Yeah. Ah! See, I'm just taking my hair out right now. Jalen's making dinner and crew is sleeping. Do you ever just want to just rip it out? Okay, there we go. That feels so much better. That face was probably so ugly. I need to change this shirt because I've worn this way too much. So yeah, just taking my makeup off right now and then I'm gonna go downstairs, eat dinner, and then go to bed at like eight, which I will see you guys at eight. Oh, I forgot to take off my eyelashes and I wanted to save them. I gotta just wash my hands. Also, my skincare has been like slowly transitioning into like Korean products and these are so good. This is snail mucin. This is my second bottle. And then I recently got the sunscreen because apparently it's like the number one popular sunscreen in Korea and all their skin looks amazing. So I was like, I need to try that. Okay, eyelashes, wow. My brain's going like 50 directions right now. Ever since becoming a mom, I feel like I'm always feeling like I'm in a rush. Like if I'm in the shower, I'm like rushing. If I'm taking my makeup off, I'm trying to rush because I just want to get back to him. I'm going to do my skincare. Jump scare. Oh, I forgot my freaking wrist things. Oh, I'm all over the place right now. Oh. Well, I messed up. I forgot I'm supposed to exfoliate, but... I guess not. Okay, time for dinner. Okay, it's 7.20 right now. Jalen made chicken and steak kebabs and I'm having some coconut jasmine rice with it. So yeah. I'm also doing a root beer. This one's the zero sugar one. My mom put me on this. It's so good. I'm obsessed. Okay, it's currently 8.03 p.m. right now. Jalen's gonna feed him the next one and then he puts him in the bassinet, so. Mm-hmm, chilling. <laughs> I forgot our handshake. We I had one. I know, I don't remember. <gasps> okay. We haven't done it since like quarantine. Oh yeah, I don't even I don't remember. Even remember. <laughs> we don't oh, need God. no handshake, shouty. Okay, I love you. I love you. Mwah! <laughs> Have another one, please. I always get so sad. He has a lineup of binkies. <laughs> His options. Bro just got a flight of blink binkies. <laughs> he got a binky flight. Keeping an eye out for Selena. You don't know that? Keep an eye out for Selena? Like, oh my gosh. The Nicki Minaj? Yeah. It's like a meme. Selena. Benji, you ready to go night night? Come on. Let's go night night. Come on. Okay, so this is definitely a combo. So I have his bottles for the night all ready. I just pumped and put the milk in here. Got some chocolate and I needed to bring up some more diapers. We've been really liking the Costco Kirkland brand. It's actually really good. So yeah, we've been loving these. Okay, we got everything. <laughs> the 
this dog, I tell you. <laughs> I know this is weird, but I actually sleep on this side just so I have better access to him. And so I have this space to like change him and stuff. I have this like changing pad right here. Turn this on. Get the vibes going. And then I'm just putting his bottles in here for the night. I guess I didn't need to bring any diapers. I have these huggy ones that I'm trying to like use up just because I don't like to like waste. But we've been liking the Kirkland, the Millie Moons, and the Coterie ones. Also in here, I have an extra onesie, a t-shirt, and another onesie. So like three in here just in case he like pees or, you know, poops <laughs> through his onesie. And then I have some gripe water in here, which helps if like... He's super gassy and stuff. Rash cream, some hand sanitizer, and I think, yeah, there's more hand sanitizer in here and his wipes. So we are all set. I'll just put this to the side, I think. Okay. Okay, finally time to go to sleep. Jalen just brought him in. He had the hiccups and it woke him up, so I'm trying to get him back to sleep. pooping right now. Diaper wipes, diaper rash cream. Pretty much the routine is change diaper, feed him, and then burp him, and then put him back to sleep. So I just repeat that. Hey, sometimes it gets really mad. <laughs> oh, he's getting mad. I know, it's coming, it's coming. Diaper rash cream, his little noises. <laughs> Diaper check. I wish there was like an instant bottle warmer because he gets so mad. Oh, it's still cold. Say hurry up. Hurry up, bottle warmer. Guys, watch. I think my nose is the bottle. <laughs> Ooh, yum. All good now. Diaper, bottle, burp. And then we can go to sleep. Hi. All better. <laughs> Sorry that the lighting is so bad right now. Usually I'll either get up like for the day right now or during the next feeding, which I think I'm gonna sleep more. So his next feeding is probably not until like nine-ish. I don't know, he's been waking up like every two and a half, three hours. So that's what I'm guessing. He's a wiggly worm right now. Praise the Lord. He's so funny with his hands. It's 6.50 right now. Um, Jalen wakes up in like 10 minutes. I think he's pooping. Yes. It'd be like that sometimes. You still have one ounce left, sir. Oh my gosh. He's dreaming, guys. smells like Fritos. <laughs> Good morning, boo-boos. He is awake. I like couldn't go to sleep until like 8.20. You ready for some milk? <laughs> oh my gosh. We are pretty much up for the day. <laughs> he is very serious about his milk. It is actually a lot of it later in the day. It's currently 3.43 p.m. right now. Crew is sleeping. My friend and her son came over. We had a little mini play day, even though crew is like sleeping. Um, <laughs> That was good to see her. I also just finished pumping. I didn't pump through the night, which I should have. I'm supposed to be pumping like every three hours, but last night I just didn't. And then I woke up this morning and I was like super engorged. So not gonna do that again, but 
I've been getting a lot of milk today. I think it's like making up for like not pumping last night. I had to take one of these bad boys, which helps with like clogged milk ducts in your milk flow because I'm just too scared that I'm gonna get like mastitis. That looks painful. So I just took this because um, I can feel like a clogged thing. So we don't want that happening. I just ordered some Red Robin. I've been loving this salad from there. It's so good. I mean, I probably could have made it, but it just hits different. I already got into the French fries. I had like three French fries and I used up all the ranch. Like I want it drowning in ranch. You feel? But I got the Southwest salad. It is so freaking good. It has these like fried jalapenos in it, which are so good. Some avocado, chicken, black beans, corn, all the good stuff, some lime. And then it comes with a salsa ranch. So good. This is my favorite salad. So I'm just eating that right now. And Jalen should be coming home from work in like 30 minutes, which I miss him. So yeah. And oh my God, my six week appointment like postpartum appointment is tomorrow. Jalen's been eyeing me. If you know, you know. <laughs> I cannot wait to work out. I'm gonna feel like a brand new girl. I'm gonna eat this, again, having my root beer, but I'm gonna eat this before baby boy wakes up. Yum. Ready, guys? I feel like Alicia doing that. She always does that in vlogs. We love a salad shaker. The sound of it just, I love it. Mmm, cheers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Me and Southwest salads. I'm that emoji. How does that work? You know what I mean. <laughs> Costco time. I definitely need to stock up on these for my protein coffees. The caramel flavor is so good. Mm. Yeah, I need another one. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh. I need to do a little Costco run. There's so many people. It's so busy. I need to get done. You would think I would not be awkward filming in public in front of people, but I still do. Okay, let's get stuff. We got our first sample. We got pizza. Is it good? It's fire. Mmm. <laughs> Should I grab one? That's really good. Whoa, that pizza hits. These diapers are so good. So grabbing those, and they're only $35 for $192, so pretty good deal. Well, we filled this up super quick. Oops. I'm kind of sad. Oh. Oh my god, am I leaking? I'm kind of sad because I saw on TikTok that they had the Starbucks egg white bites, but I can't find them anywhere, so that sucks. Okay, I made it back home from Costco. I'll do like a quick, fast Costco haul, um, so let's do that. So first, got two rotisserie chickens, which the rotisserie chicken is so good. I was already eating this in the front seat. It was very foul of me, but their chicken's so good. You guys already saw the diapers. You guys are standing on the Premier Protein Caramel one. I'm using that as a tripod, so I got that. The sample that you guys saw was this pizza and had to get this because that pizza is really good. Got some Rainier cherries. This chicken sausage is the best. This is the pineapple and bacon, so good. So had to stock up on those. Some ground turkey, turkey breast. These wings are amazing. It's sweet chipotle barbecue. If you're at Costco, get them. Some chicken thighs. Sorry if you're vegan. This is a lot of meat. Um, and then some ribs. So we definitely stocked up on a lot of like meats, but it was a really good deal. Almost $300 later, but it's worth it. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, and some paper towels, which those are boring. Crew is currently eating right now. My mom's feeding him. <laughs> Hello guys, so it's currently the next day. I'm like getting ready quickly. I just got this baby monitor from Amazon for um, on Amazon Prime Day and it is so good. It was only like 60 bucks. And I also have this one, which we still need to set up in his bedroom, but I have this one for when he's in the bassinet next to our bed. And this will be nice for like when we're traveling and stuff. This one's like more complex and it's through your phone. I wanted like an actual like tablet thing that I can like bring around the house. He is knocked out and you can even like do this, which is really cool. But yeah, he is sleeping. I'm trying to get ready super quick, just in case. <laughs> I'm gonna put the ugly influencer headband on. It reminds me of like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> but I had my six week postpartum appointment and I'm all good to go. I can go back to working out and doing, you know, other things, but I'm still kind of too scared too. I mean, Jalen's ready, but like, I'm just 
scared like i don't know <laughs> but yeah that's really nice she also checked my abs because i was nervous about like ab separation and she said that i don't have any which is amazing so i'm so excited to start working out i already scheduled all of my personal trainings with my trainer to start on tuesday today is saturday so i'm so excited to get back into like working out and stuff because it's been a minute oprah is moving around okay currently getting ready because i'm gonna get some lunch with my mom and aunt so i'm just doing like quick makeup then we're gonna bounce well that was short-lived <laughs> he's being a little wiggly warm right now not me literally wearing the same outfits like 300 days in a row it's just like that right now what is in my pocket okay noise machine hi good morning well good afternoon i'm gonna put him in this cute little outfit it's like really hot outside so i think i'm just gonna put him in this oh he just farted i still get kind of nervous like taking him places like alone like i'm definitely way less nervous when jalen's with me but he's at like a fundraiser right now i think so i am riding solo you're gonna be so good so good for mama i can't believe i'm a mom like what is life also if you're a boy mom i learned this Take a wipe before you open their diaper and like put it right here on their belly button and like wipe it. That like gets them to pee and like he hasn't peed on me since. So, little fun fact. He's still my teeny baby, but you're gonna get chunky. You're gonna get so chunky. I know it. <laughs> yes. I'm just fixing up his hair before we go. I just got it a little bit wet and then I literally put like a dot of the johnson's lotion it smells so freaking good and oh bless you and i just like literally just do that curls for the girls and then i just use this like soft brush the back is just <laughs> a mess but it's okay there we go okay let's get him in his car seat oh it is so much easier having jalen with me <laughs> Let's play your music. Well, not music, but you know what I mean. Okay, pretty much all ready. I'm so proud of myself. He's looking at the kitchen lights right now. I am bringing two bottles just in case. And also we've been loving the Lululemon's diaper bag. I just wish there was a part for like bottles, like an insulated part. And before we go, I really want to try the new Alani New Kim Kardashian collab. I was so shocked when they post this. I was like, that is so iconic. So let's try one. This packaging is so cute let's just try this at my mom's because uh oh okay i made it to my parents house so let's try the kim k drink do you want to try it with me dad sure come here it's uh, the... what is he doing it's what kim made it's made from all her ex-husbands <laughs> no it's not do you hear jalen he's horrible i'm trying to figure out what it tastes like it's really good though that's interesting is it the only flavor they have yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like a, it's strawberry lemonade. That's good. That's pretty good. It's kind of like good. a pink lemonade, but mm -hmm. like carbonated Me and not like super sweet. That's good. Yum. I'm going to end the vlog here because we're going to the restaurant. I love you guys and I will see you in the next vlog. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>